Chinese officials have long signaled their interest in deploying a satellite network, or maybe several, to beam broadband internet signals across China and other nations within its sphere of influence. There are two serious efforts underway in China to develop a rival to SpaceX's Starlink network, which the Chinese government has banned in its territory. The first batch of 18 satellites from one of those Chinese networks launched into low Earth orbit Tuesday, while Long March 6A rocket delivered the 18 spacecraft into a polar orbit following liftoff at 2.42 a.m. ET, 0642 UTC, from the Taiyuan launch base in northern China's Shaanxi province. The Long March 6A is one of China's newest rockets, and the country's first to employ strap-on solid rocket boosters, with the ability to deploy a payload of up to 4.5 metric tons 9, pounds, into a 700-kilometer mile, sun-synchronous orbit. The rocket placed its payload of 18 Ginfan satellites into the proper orbit, and the launch mission was a complete success. According to the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, the largest state-owned contractor for the Chinese space program, Confun translates to thousand sales, and the 18 satellites launched Tuesday are the first of potentially thousands of spacecraft planned by Shanghai Spacecom Satellite Technology SSST, a company backed by Shanghai's municipal government. The network developed by SSST is also called the Space Sail Constellation. Shanghai officials only began releasing details of this constellation last year. A filing with the International Telecommunication Union suggests the developers of Shanghai-based Mega Constellation initially planned to deploy 1,296 satellites at an altitude of about 1,160 kilometers (721 miles). Xinhua, China's state-run news agency, said the constellation will provide global users with low latency, high-speed and ultra-reliable satellite broadband internet services. Opening the floodgates, SSST's network was previously known as G60 Starlink, referencing a major cross-country highway in China and the project's intent to imitate SpaceX's broadband service. Thousand sales may eventually consist of more than 14,000 satellites. But like other Internet Mega Constellations, the size of the fleet will likely grow at a rate commensurate with demand. It will take many years for SSST to deploy a 14,000 satellite constellation, if it ever does. SpaceX has rolled out several generations of Starlink satellites to offer new services and more capacity to meet customer uptake. Chinese officials have released few details about the Confund satellites. But the project's backers have said the spacecraft has a standardized and modular flat panel design. It meets the needs of stacking multiple satellites with one rocket, said Shanghai Jesse Aerospace Technology, a joint venture set up by SSST and the Chinese Academy of Sciences to oversee manufacturing of Confun satellites. This sounds a lot like the design of SpaceX's Starlink satellites, which are flat-packed for launch on Falcon 9 rockets. SpaceX pioneered this way of launching and deploying large numbers of satellites. The approach used for Starlink, and apparently for Confon, streamlines the integration of multiple satellites with their launcher on the ground. It also simplifies their separation from the rocket once in orbit. The new Confon satellite factory in Shanghai can produce up to 300 spacecraft per year, project officials said in December. Officials previously said the first 108 satellites for the Thousand Sails constellation would launch this year. SSST announced in February it had raised more than $900 million from Chinese state-backed investment funds, Shanghai's municipal government, and sources of venture capital. SSST's origin is linked to a Chinese joint venture with a Germany-based company called Clio Connect which intended to develop a smaller constellation of low-Earth orbit satellites for data relay services. China launched four technology demonstration satellites, purportedly related to the Clio Connect venture, to test telecom hardware and electric propulsion systems in orbit. The joint venture fell apart with a flurry of lawsuits, and the German government last year blocked the complete takeover of Clio Connect by its Chinese investors. Now, SSST is going in alone with the Thousand Sales Network. It has rapidly scaled up satellite manufacturing capacity in Shanghai, but outside of Starlink, companies with ideas for mega constellations have run into serious headwinds. One web file for bankruptcy in 2020 before eventually launching.
launching its entire first-generation network of 633 Internet satellites. Amazon has pushed back the full-scale deployment of its project Cooper Mega Constellation, and the launch of the first operational Cooper Internet satellites may be delayed again to 2025. The future of European Union's Iris Squared Satellite Internet Network is in doubt after disagreements among European governments on funding the project. The Thousand Sales Constellation is less well-known than another planned Chinese satellite internet network known as Guang, or National Network which is supported by China's central government. Guang is owned by a state-backed company called SatNet, and its architecture will consist of 13,000 satellites. However, China has not yet launched any spacecraft for the Guang project. It's unclear if the Thousand Sails Network and the Guang Constellation will be direct competitors. They could be geared to different segments of the broadband market. In either case, China's restrictive internet policies with terrestrial networks will likely spill over into the satellite segment. Chinese officials recognize the military utility of satellite internet services like Starlink, which has supported Ukrainian military forces fighting Russian troops since 2022. A homegrown Starlink-like service would, no doubt, prove useful for China's military. Alongside potential domestic civilian users, China could use its satellite internet networks as a diplomatic tool to build on existing partnerships between the Chinese government and developing countries. This could lead to a leapfrogging moment, where African countries opt for the Chinese internet constellation over Western providers due to the fact that much of their infrastructure is already Chinese-built. The Royal United Services Institute, a UK think tank, wrote in a report last year. While there are open questions about how China will use its satellite mega constellations, their deployment will require a significant increase in the country's launch capacity, driving the development of new commercial rockets, including reusable boosters, to lower costs and increase their flight rate.